Hey everybody, DRC here. Sorry I missed last week, but hopefully I can make it up to you guys this week. I was uh, pouring through the options of Photoshop looking for something to let me make a pull-up menu like uh, in ZBrush. Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, you can't do that, but what you can do is make a pop-up color picker. And it's actually part of Photoshop, um, and you have access to it right now, it's just it's not told to you really explicitly anywhere, and I haven't seen anybody really using it. Now it has its drawbacks, but it's definitely worth looking into. So first things first, if we hold down Alt, Shift, and right click on Windows, you get this pop-up HUD um, color picker. And it's great, you know, it's got your color wheel, you can shift colors, you can shift hues and values, and off you go. And you can do it very quickly and add unique colors and make custom gradients and all that stuff instead of relying on Photoshop's blending the two between two colors to make your midtones, which I have been doing because I'm lazy and don't like going up just this far to use my color wheel. Now, so in order to do that, you hold down Control, Shift, Right, Click, um, which is quite a long keystroke for a pop-up, to be completely honest. So if you're on a Wacom tablet of any type, you most likely have options to bind your right click and your left click um, secondary mouse buttons here, um, or click one and click two. So what I did is I set my front button to shift alt right click and then my back button to right click. Um, and how you do this is you open it up, you go to modifier keys and you select shift alt and right click, you hit OK, you close this and boom, one key and it pulls this up. Now, you're probably sitting there and going, but mine doesn't look like yours. Why do you have a color wheel? The answer is very simple. All you have to do to change and customize as best you can your heads up color display is hold Control K and pull up the preferences tab. On the left hand side, you have the top. At the top, there's the general tab. Straight over, you've got your color picker and your heads up display color picker type. And you have access and you can choose hue strip to small, medium, and large and hue wheel, small, standard, medium, and large. I'm not really sure why there's just standard. I would have called it medium, but you can have really, really large ones if you want. You want to get really precise um, for some reason. I kind of feel like it's a waste of space, but it could have its uses. So after that, you select whichever one works for you, and off you go. Now I will talk a little bit about the hue strip and why I don't like it. So here's the gradient box and here's the hue strip on the right. And for the most part, you've got, you know, pretty good um, access to all of your colors. However, the bridge between red with purple and red with orange is at, oops, sorry, the top and bottom of the strip, which makes it a complete pain in the neck if you have a red color and you want to add a little bit more orange, but you're already at the top, you have to go all the way to the bottom and it just doesn't feel quite right to me. So for that reason, I highly suggest using the color wheel. Um, unfortunately, there's no further customization of the color wheel, so you're kind of stuck with whatever this is. So it has its uses. It's not going to replace something like Colorist or just the standard color wheel, but it definitely speeds up my workflow if I need to change a little bit or tweak something. I can do it with one keystroke and boom, it's right there. As long as you're holding down right click, you can let go of the control shift modifier keys if you don't have it bound to your stylus button. And unfortunately, when you release right click, it'll select whatever your cursor is under, which is good because it reduces clicks, but it also makes it difficult because you can't choose a value and saturation of your color like here and then shift the hue, you know, I can't shift to green and have it be at the same spot. So for that, you're still going to have to use whatever your go-to color picker is. But if you're just dabbling around, you're like, oh man, I wish that was a little bit greener, you know, maybe like here, you can go back through. Uh, it's kind of an ugly color. Anyway, you see my point. You can go back through very quickly and shift stuff around. It's not super accurate, but just like everything that has its place. I hope you, this helps you guys. If not, sorry. I will be back next week, and this time I promise with another video. Till next Wednesday, DRC out. <laughs>